In this video, I'm going to integrate Lutron Rattle Select with Sonos. This is a complete review on how to integrate those two systems together. And by the end of this tutorial, we should know how to set up all the required equipment as well as all the different ways we can operate Sonos from a Lutron Rattle Select system. So, without further ado, let's do it. Bonjour, I'm Xavier, and welcome to the Adelux YouTube channel for lighting control and home automation tutorials. If you're also into these, please consider to like and subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Let's just dive into it. To illustrate all the programming steps, I've set up a small Lutron Rattle Select demo. And if you want to know how I've completed this initial setup, you can find all the links in the comment section below or by clicking on the card above. I also have a Sonos speaker that we are going to operate from that Lutron system. The first important step is that we need to have both my Lutron Rattle Select and my Sonos on the same Ethernet network. Once we're sure that we have both systems on the same Wi-Fi network, from the Lutron Rattle Select app, I go to Settings, Advance, Integration, and then Connections. And here, under My Home, we should find my Sonos system. And when I click on it, it will give me all the details about my Sonos distributed audio installation. And in my case, I have three rooms that are part of my Sonos system. I have Sonos in my living room, kitchen, and office. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. Once you have both your Lutron Rattle Select system and your Sonos on the same network, they will see each other and you can start your audio integration right away. Very simple. The most common way you may want to control your Sonos system is from this Lutron Rattle Select Pico Remote. It is very similar to the regular Pico Remote for lighting, but it has specific engraving so it can be dedicated to your audio. The top button is used to play and pause audio. The bottom button is to play next. And the middle button is to scroll through your Sonos favorites and the up and down arrows for volume control. To use this Pico, I'll have to first add it to my Rattle Select system. So from the Luton app, I go to settings, add device, then select Pico Remote for audio. And at that point, the app asks me to press and hold the button button for 10 seconds, which I do now. Next, I need to select the room where this Pico is located. And in my case, I'm going to select the living room and press next. On the following screen, the app asks me to select which Sonos room this Pico is going to control. And at this point, it may be important to note that this particular Pico can only control one Sonos room. In my particular case here, I'm going to select the living room and click Done. And my audio Pico has now been added. I click now on the I'm done adding device button. And the app finishes to set up and take me back to the main screen where I can see my audio Pico in my living room. Before playing any music, I'd like to highlight the second aspect of this Pico for audio control. So let's select it and click on Edit Device. From there, I can change its name and the room is in. But if I select devices, I notice that I can assign to this Pico any other Rattle Select devices, such as my inline dimmers and my Lutron motorized blinds, which I will not really recommend, as if I add and assign other things to this type of Pico remote, the audio control will always be linked to the control of those assigned lights and shades, in a way that if I click on the play button, for example, the co-assigned light will always turn to full on and the co-assigned blind will always go to its open position, which long term may not be useful for the client. As we can see here, the same goes for any other regular Pico remote for lights or for blinds, where the audio control is also available from those as well. I believe the key here is the engraving. So, as we want to provide a solution that is convenient and easy to operate for the client, as much as possible, I recommend to keep the light Pico for lighting control, the blind Pico for shade control, 
and the audio pico for Sonos control. On the other hand, if you require the control of your light, shade and audio from a single button press, we will see how to program it later when we cover the PicoSync keypad as well as other features from within your Lutron Ratu Select system. So stay tuned. Now that I've added my audio Pico remote, let's see how I can operate my Sonos speaker from it. I will also launch my Sonos app on my computer so we can visually see how my Sonos behave when I use this Pico. So let's just play some music and I press on the play button at the top of my Pico. In our case here, because I was listening to it last, it starts with this favorite playlist. From there, I can play the next track using the bottom button, raise the volume, lower the volume, and press the top button again to pause. And if I press on the middle button of my Pico, I'm going to select the next item on my list of favorites, which in my case is that next playlist here. It is now done to me to build that list of favorites with albums, radio stations or playlists of my choice so I can have access to them for my Audio Pico remote. There is something to point out though that should help you when explaining how the system works to your client. So let me try to illustrate that for you. Let's press again on the middle button of the Pico to select the next item on my Sonos list of favorites here, which in my case is that playlist. And let's say that after a while I manually select another favorite to play, like this radio station for example, but directly from within my Sonos app. And now let's say that later on, if I press again on the favorite button of my Pico here, Sonos will jump to the next favorite item based on what was the last favorite playing when selected from the Pico, which is the other radio station and not the next item in relation of the favorite that I've selected earlier directly from the Sonos app, which will have been that playlist here. The middle button seems to only track its own selection, which is fine, but that's probably something to bear in mind. And this leads me to say, after using the system for a while, that the Audio Pico is more for basic control, like to quickly adjust the volume when the music is already playing in a room, as you don't have to take your phone, unlock it, launch the Sonos app in case screen control isn't available, wait for the app to connect and then control the volume. Or when you leave the room and you just want to switch off the music, which is very convenient. But then to get the full experience to search and select music, I will then use the Sonos app as it will provide me or the client with a better user experience. Where this audio integration go to the next level is when it is used with a PicoSync keypad. A PicoSync keypad is more to call scenes that include multiple lighting circuits at different lighting levels based on the activity that take place in a room. The great thing is that those scenes can also include blind positions and audio presets. So here, if I edit the PicoSync keypad, I already have in my Lutron Ratu Select system and then go to the Entertain scene where I've already combined light levels and blind position. If I go down to the audio section and select Sonos Rooms, I've got access to a new menu that allows me to choose the audio rooms I want to control for that scene. And in my case, I select the living room. And there, I've got now the option to adjust the volume I want when I trigger this scene. And I click Done. Then, when I press on that Edit button here, I can select which Sonos favorite to play from my list when I trigger this scene. And I'm going to select this playlist here and press Done. Then Save and Save again. Now, let's go test this scene. As we can see, the lights and blind go to their predefined levels and my Sonos speaker starts playing the selected favorite music at that desired volume level. That's super cool! <laughs> 
Another cool feature available from Lutron Ratu Select when integrated with Sonos is the ability to use what I call a system scene. These aren't the scene from the PicoSync keypad, but other different scenes available only from the Lutron Ratu Select app. To create those scenes, let's go to the Scene tab here, click on the Add Scene button, and let's name this scene Chill Out, for example, and I'll select this icon and then press Next. And on the following screen, I can also select which equipment I want to include in that scene, and I could select some lights or shades. But the cool thing is that I can just program my audio. So I click on Choose Sonos Rooms, and then, for example, I can select all the rooms so my music can play everywhere in the house. And I can also adjust the volume per room so it's not too loud as I just want some background music. I press Done, then select my favorite item like this playlist here, press Done, and Done again. And I've added a new scene, so I click on OK, and here is my scene. The cool thing is that I can create music shortcut directly from the app to play specific radio station or the news or any specific genre like jazz, rock or R&B using their corresponding playlist. So now I can control all my lights, motorized blinds and audio from a single location, my Lutron Ratu Select app, without using anything, no other equipment between my Ratu Select system and my Sonos. That is really good. But let me show you another cool thing. If I go to the Schedule tab and select Add Schedule, I can create a time clock event for any of those days. So let me create a weekend event by selecting Saturday and Sunday. I press Next, then select at what time I want that event to be triggered. So let me select 8 a.m. and press Next. And I will call this scene Morning Vibes and press Next. And on the next screen, that we start to know very well, I will go directly to the audio section. Select Sonos Room, select the kitchen, adjust the volume and press Done. Select my favorite item, like this playlist here, press Done and Done again. And my schedule has now been added, so I click OK. And from now on, my music will start playing automatically in my kitchen every weekend day from 8 a.m just to put me in the right mood, which is fantastic. Voila, there you have it. We now have a better idea of what it actually means when we integrate Neutron Ratu Select with Sonos. And how easy it is to set up all the different ways that allow Ratu Select to control Sonos. I hope you find this tutorial useful and if you have any question or if you love my French accent, please let me know in the comment section below. Like and subscribe to my channel so you can be updated when the next video is released. Thank you very much and talk to you again on the next tutorial.